Sadio Mane is one of the best African players of all time and is widely considered one of the best left wingers in Premier League history. Welcome to the B-World Soccer, a channel dedicated to the latest and greatest in the world of soccer. You will be captivated by today's amazing video. How did a young kid from the south of Senegal become one of the greatest athletes in football? Sadio Mane was born in a small village in Senegal called Said Hugh which is home to about 24,000 people. Sadio came from a particularly difficult background as a child. One of the reasons he became so talented with a ball at his feet was because his parents didn't have the money to send him to school. Him and his friends in the village would just play football all day long until the sun went down. Whilst he was known in his village for being the best footballer, his family wasn't convinced that he had the ability to make his dream become a reality. This is why at just age 15, he ran away from his village with his childhood friend to visit Dakar, the capital of Senegal, in an attempt to get signed to the local football team. Thankfully, this risk ultimately paid off, and he signed with the local academy generation, foot after impressing the coaches at the trials. In Dakar, not only did he find an opportunity to make his dream come true, but also a father figure in Mehdi Tuil, the man behind the academy. His real father sadly passed away when he was only seven years old from illness. Manny has come out publicly and expressed gratitude for all the support Mehdi gave to him during his time at the academy, and he sees Chur as a father. Sadio Manet left his homeland to join French side Mets in 2011. This was due to the French side having a partnership with Generation Foot, which sees one player join the French side every year. In more recent times, this partnership has seen his Mylesa follow in Mané's footsteps and sign for Mets from Generation Foot. After making his professional debut for Mets on 14 January 2012, at 19 years old, his time at the club was short and sweet. Mané went on to play just 22 league games for Mets scoring only two goals. However, this was enough for clubs around Europe to start taking note. One man who realized that Sadio could become a global star was Red Bull Salzburg sporting director, Ralf Rangnick. After several offers, Sadio eventually joined the Austrian side in the summer of 2012 for a fee of 4 million euros. At the time, Metz had only received larger fees for Robert Piers and Marolem Pianek. This left a few people raising their eyebrows back in Austria. The question marks around Mané's arrival quickly disappeared after his first few games. As it was clear to see he was a special player. His speed and ability to glide past players made him unstoppable at times. He spent two seasons in Austria, scoring 19 goals in his first year at the club, and then followed that up by scoring 23 goals the next year, as Salzburg completed the league and cup double with Sadio starring in both competitions. This kind of form had caught the attention of bigger clubs across Europe. Most notably Borussia Dortmund, who was managed at the time by a certain Jürgen club. Klopp would go on to meet Mané about a potential transfer, but ultimately decided against the move. Due to Mané looking more like a rapper than a professional footballer. Jürgen has since said this was one of the biggest mistakes of his career and promised himself if the opportunity arrived. Again for Sadio, he wouldn't think twice about it. Dortmund and Klopp's loss was Southampton's game, as they went on to sign Sadio in the summer of 2014 for just under £12 million. Sadio immediately impressed for Southampton, scoring crucial goals against the likes of Chelsea and Arsenal. It didn't take long for him to start breaking records. In his first season in the Premier League, he broke the record for the fastest hat-trick ever scored, scoring three times in just 2 minutes 56 seconds in a 6-1 win against Aston Villa, breaking Robbie Fowler's record. From 1994, a record I can't imagine will be broken anytime soon. He quickly become the main man at Southampton. After scoring 10 goals in all competitions in his first season, the following year he finished the season as Southampton's top goal scorer, scoring 15 times all from the left wing. During this period of time, one of Sadio's biggest admirers, Jurgen Klopp had just taken over. From Brendan Rodgers at Liverpool, Jurgen was keen to not make the same mistake twice. 
In his first summer transfer window at the club, Liverpool went all out and signed Sadio. Main from Southampton for a fee of £34 million, which at the time made him the most expensive. African player of all time. Not too bad for a kid from a small village in the south of Senegal. Main's time at Liverpool is what he is most known for. Across six years, Sadio played a total of 269 games for Liverpool in all competitions, scoring an impressive 120 goals. Whilst at Liverpool, he won it all. The Premier League, Champions League, FA Cup, Carabao Cup, UEFA Super Cup, and also the Club World Cup. It didn't take long for Merseyside to fall in love with Sadio, scoring arguably one of his best goals in a Liverpool shirt on his debut in a 4-3 win over Arsenal. At the Emirates, in his first season at the club, he was deployed on the right of a front three with one goal in mind, helped Liverpool secure Champions League football for the first time since 2014, where they were knocked out at the group stage after only managing to win one game. Main scored 13 times in the league as Liverpool qualified for the Champions League, including a 94th minute winner against Everton at Goodison Park despite only playing 27 times in the league due to Afghan commitments and injuries, Main's excellent form was enough to see him in the PFA team of the year, as well as winning Liverpool's player of the season. With Liverpool now playing in the Champions League, the squad needed bulking if they were going to compete on multiple fronts. In the summer of 2017, Liverpool signed Mohamed Salah from Roma, causing Main to be moved to the left wing a position he had played regularly whilst at Salzburg. This would be the birth of the iconic front three main, Firmino and Salah. Across five years, the trio managed to score a staggering 338 goals whilst combining for 139 assists. With two-thirds of these assists being for each other. Arguably, going down as the greatest front three the Premier League has ever seen. Their impact was Immediate, as in their first game together, they all managed to get on the score sheet in a 3-3 draw. Way to Watford. Sadio would go on to score in each of the next two games, helping him win. Player of the month as Liverpool sat second in the league. Despite playing two more games this season. In the league, Sadio only managed to score 10 goals, three less than he did in his first season at the club. This was OK. However, as new signing Mo Salah had taken the league by storm, scoring 32 times and therefore breaking the Premier League record for most goals in a season. The Champions League is where Main really came alive that year, scoring his first hat-trick for the club in a 5-0 win away from home against Porto in the round of 16. The bigger the stage, the better. Sadio would play. Nobody in Liverpool's history has scored more goals in Champions League knockout. Ties than Main's 15 goals. Rightfully earning him the nickname of the knockout king. In fact, Liverpool become the first team in Champions League history to have three players score 10 goals each. In a season. Main, Firmino and Salah. Unfortunately, however, they would go on to lose the final. To Madrid 3. 1. With Sadio scoring the only goal for Liverpool. Eager to kick on from the heart. Break of last year, Sadio started the new season with a new shirt number. He was now wearing the number 10 after Coutinho's departure to Barcelona midway through the previous season. Sadio started the season how he normally does, scoring on the opening day in a 4-0 win against West Ham. His form never really slowed down in the league. He ended the year with a career-high 22 league goals. From 36 games. This was enough to earn him the golden boot alongside teammate Mo Salah and Arsenal's. Albamy Young. He was once again named in the PFA Team of the Year, as well as being nominated for. PFA Player of the Year. 44 league goals from Sadio and Mo was not enough for Liverpool to become. Premier League champions, as they finished second in the league just one point behind Manchester City. Liverpool would not finish the season trophy less, 
however. After star performances from Maine. In the Champions League against the likes of Bayern Munich and Barcelona, Liverpool had reached the final and back-to-back -back seasons. Another big game where Maine immediately stepped up, striking the ball off Susoko's arm within the first minute of the final. Winning a penalty that Mo Salah would convert as they went on to beat Spurs 2-0, Maine's first trophy for the club. This was definitely the peak of Maine's career as later in 2019. He would finish fourth in the ball on door rankings. Behind Messi, Ronaldo and Van Dijk. The trophies didn't stop there, as in the 2019-2020 season. Liverpool would go on to win three more major trophies. The first one was the UEFA Super Cup, where Sadio actually scored a brace and named man of the match as Liverpool beat Chelsea on penalties. Later that year, the second trophy would come for Liverpool as they won the Club World Cup, with Sadio setting up for Mino's winning goal. On the 7th of January, 2020, Sadio was named African Footballer of the Year, becoming only the second Senegalese player to win the award. Whilst this was going on, Liverpool were reaching unprecedented heights in the Premier League. They had equaled the record of 18 consecutive wins and recorded 22 straight Premier League wins at home. This was OK, however, as new signing Mosala had taken the league by storm, scoring 32 times and therefore breaking the Premier League record for most goals in a season. The Champions League is where Maine really came alive that year, scoring his first hat trick for the club in A. 5-0 win away from home against Porto in the round of 16. The bigger the stage, the better. Sadio would play. Nobody in Liverpool's history has scored more goals in Champions League knockout. Ties than Maine's 15 goals. Rightfully earning him the nickname of the knockout king. In fact, Liverpool become the first team in Champions League history to have three players score 10 goals each. In a season. Main, Firmino and Salah. Unfortunately, however, they would go on to lose the final. To Madrid 3-1, with Sadio scoring the only goal for Liverpool. Eager to kick on from the heart. Break of last year, Sadio started the new season with a new shirt number. He was now wearing the number 10 after Coutinho's departure to Barcelona midway through the previous season. Sadio started the season how he normally does, scoring on the opening day in a 4-0 win against West Ham. His form never really slowed down in the league. He ended the year with a career-high 22 league goals. From 36 games, this was enough to earn him the golden boot alongside teammate Mo Salah and Arsenal's Albany Young. He was once again named in the PFA Team of the Year, as well as being nominated for PFA Player of the Year, 44 league goals from Sadio and Mo was not enough for Liverpool to become Premier League champions, as they finished second in the league, just one point behind Manchester City. Liverpool would not finish the season trophy less, however, after star performances from Maine, in the Champions League against the likes of Bayern Munich and Barcelona, Liverpool had reached the final and back-to-back -back seasons, another big game where Maine immediately stepped up, striking the Ball off Susoko's arm within the first minute of the final, winning a penalty that Mo Salah would convert as they went on to beat Spurs 2-0, Maine's first trophy for the club. This was definitely the peak of Maine's career as later in 2019, he would finish fourth in the ball on door rankings, behind Messi, Ronaldo and Van Dijk. The trophies didn't stop there, as in the 2019-2020 season, Liverpool would go on to win three more major trophies. The first one was the UEFA Super Cup where Sadio actually scored a brace and named man of the match as Liverpool beat Chelsea on penalties. Later that year, the second trophy would come for Liverpool as they won the Club World Cup, with Sadio setting up for Mino's winning goal. On 7 January, 2020, Sadio was named African Footballer of the Year, becoming only the second Senegalese player to win the award. Whilst this was going on, Liverpool were reaching unprecedented heights in the Premier League. They had equaled the record of 18 consecutive wins and recorded 22 straight Premier League wins at home. This was enough to see them become the Premier League champions for the first time in their history after running away with the league. Sadio Main managed to score an impressive 18 league goals 
including another 94th-minute winner against Aston Villa, once again being named in the PFA team of the year. Sadly, the following season, the success we were used to seeing from Liverpool and Main disappeared. Main described the 2020-21 ST season as the worst of his career. Liverpool looked half the team they used to be, albeit due to a lot of injuries to key men such as Virgil van Dijk. Main only managed 11 goals in the league his second lowest tally since joining from Southampton. It took a last-minute winner from Allison against Westborough, as Liverpool only just managed to qualify for the Champions League. The next season, we saw the resurgence of the main we got used to seeing week and week out. He started off the year on a great goal-scoring run, picking up nine goals from his first 16 appearances of the season, as Liverpool looked back to their best. With main on hot form, the Africa Cup of Nations came around, and Senegal were one of the favourites going into the competition. As the captain, he managed to guide Senegal to their first ever Athcon victory, scoring the winning penalty in a shootout against Liverpool teammate Mo Salah. Coming back to Liverpool in February, Liverpool had just signed Luis Diaz from Porto, who predominantly played on the left wing. This meant Main had started to play in a more central role, showcasing his amazing versatility as he had now played in every position possible for Liverpool's attack. As the year went on, it grew apparent that Liverpool were on the verge of potentially a historic quadruple. After winning the Carabao Cup against Chelsea, Main had scored two goals in an FA Cup semi-final to send Liverpool through against Manchester City. He had also scored in both legs of the Champions League semi-final against Villarreal to send them through to a third final in five years. Main had also scored 16 goals in the league, which left Liverpool one point behind. Manchester City going into the final day. Main had become only the third African player to score. More than 100 goals in the Premier League, alongside teammate Mo Salah and Didier Drogba. Liverpool would go on to win the FA Cup as they beat Chelsea on penalties, but narrowly miss out on the league. After some last-minute heroics from Rodri and Gundogan to salvage a win against Villa on the last day of the season, all that was left was a Champions League against their bogey team Real Madrid. In Paris, Main played amazingly in that final looking a constant threat all game. This wasn't enough unfortunately as they would go on to lose the game 1-0, and just 24 hours after the match, Main announced his intentions to leave Liverpool in the summer. In the summer of 2022, he would leave Merseyside for Munich as he joined Bayern Munich. Although he would go on to win the Bundesliga in his first season at the club, it was deemed a failure. After not impressing on the pitch particularly, he was involved in a bust-up with teammate Leroy Sane, where it is reported he punched Sane in the face. Following on from this main was let go, and is now currently playing with Ronaldo at Al Nasser. Although it wasn't the fairy tale ending for Sadio Main, he will go down as a Liverpool legend, and is highly regarded as one of the best left-wingers to ever grace the Premier League, scoring a total of 111 goals in the competition. We really hope you enjoyed today's video. How did Sadio Mane become a Premier League legend? Be sure to leave a like and comment below on what you loved about our video. Make sure you subscribe to our B-World Soccer channel and hit the bell icon to never miss another video. Until next time, we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Remember, no dream is too big.